I think the green solution is the biggest star in Denmark. If you go back to the uh, first oil crisis in the 70s, Denmark was totally dependent on imported oil. Some really interesting and far-reaching decisions were taken back then. Start focusing on renewable energy and on energy conservation. Our politicians, they wanted us to, to integrate more wind energy in the system. We thought that this was crazy. And we thought at the maximum we could integrate a few percent of wind power without threatening the level of security of supply in our system. And then today we operate a system with more than, than, than 40 percent of wind power and one of the highest levels of security of supply in the world. We have heard from Asia, from South America and so on, uh, it's very good, we know about the wind farms and so on, but what about storage? What do we do when there's no wind? For the next step toward independence on fossil fuels, we will become more and more dependent on having storage in the system. Everybody says, well, batteries. Batteries are good storage, but the batteries are very expensive. And then we come up with this uh, stone storage. Very simple, you take surplus of electricity, you heat up a big pile of stones, so you can store the energy in these stones uh, as uh, hot energy. Denmark wants to be independent of fossil fuels by 2050 altogether. I think it's realistic, even though we don't know how we're going to get there. That's the way you come up with good solutions. You have a vision uh, and a very strong ambition, and then you, you need to find a way to get there. Just like when John F. Kennedy said that they wanted to put a man on the moon. <laughs>